Hi YouTube, this is Amir Mitani here for Stack 96 and in this video I'm going to be showing you my top 5 most favourite exposed modules and basically what exposed framework is, is basically this framework that allows you to put these sort of apps which are called modules and they basically allow you to customise and add gestures to and do a whole lot of things to your Android phone that you couldn't do on stock Android. So these are going to be my top 5 most personal favourites. These don't have to be your personal favourites, you can have your own ones because there's a whole lot of exposed modules out there but these are the five that I picked out that I really really like and I use on a daily basis and if you've got your own favourites be sure to leave them down in the comments down below because I love finding out new exposed modules because there may have been some that I didn't even know about so be sure to leave them down there and I'll be sure to take, check them out and tell you if I like them or not I'm also going to have a separate video showing how to install this framework and whereabouts to get it from and that video once it's done is going to be down in the description below so be sure to look out for that and anyway without further ado let's get started so my first most favourite exposed um, module is gesture control and this as the name implies allows you to do certain gestures on your phone you can do things like bind gestures to doing two fingers upwards and downwards which I use to control the volume and you can do a whole load of other things with this app there's a whole load of different options and there are some options that you have to pay for although there's enough there for free that will be able to get you by and the second module that I really really like is boot manager and what this um, boot manager does as again the name implies is it basically controls what launches when you boot your phone so you can stop um, applications from booting when you boot your phone and you can have other ones to boot and you can just control what starts up when your phone starts up and what doesn't come up. I've got a whole lot of apps that I have on my phone but I don't want to boot when the phone boots up. So this is really really helpful for that. And number three is auto install. And basically this application isn't something again that you're going to be seeing all the time. It's just when you're installing applications. And basically when you've got an application that you need to install that isn't part of the um, Play Store, then this one basically just auto installs it for you. You don't have to click that install or press the install button once it says that it wants to install it. So this way you can tap to install an application and just leave it and you don't have to wait for that screen to come up to say to install it. So this is pretty handy for those situations. My fourth module that I really really like from the Exposed Framework is Chrome Pie. And what this basically does is it shows this menu in Chrome when you put your finger to the um, left edge or the right edge of the screen. And this menu is completely customizable. You can go into the module settings and change everything about this menu. You can also add um, second sub menus. So again, this is something you just have to play around with. There's a whole lot of options here from adding a new tab to closing a tab to going to the um, previous page to go into the page after. It's just a really, really handy um, application or module, I should say. And it really saves you from going to the top of the browser a lot. Especially if you've got a really big phone, it's hard to put your finger all the way to the top of the browser. And the fifth module that I really, really like is status bar scroll to top. And this module is actually pretty simple. You basically just tap on the status bar and it goes to the top. This is present in um, the iPhone. So it's really, really nice to see it over an Android. So it does um, show a bit of the notification center when you tap on the status bar, but this doesn't really matter. You can still tap on it and it'll still do it. You don't really have to worry about that. But it is really, really handy for if you go to the bottom of a really, really long page. So yeah, that's about it anyway. Those were my top five most favorite exposed modules. So that's it for this video anyway. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to comment down below what your favorite module is and if there's any that I missed out that you really think I should know about. And be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. I'm going to be doing a whole load of videos in the future. So be sure to subscribe to see when they come out. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you in the next video and bye.